clearly one doesn't feel any better this morning than we did last night. Um, we all share a sense of deep disappointment, uh, and there is no other way of looking at it. Uh, deep disappointment, obviously, uh, within the union, uh, within the team, uh, I know within the players, uh, and with all the fans and supporters uh, that have been so much behind the team. Uh, and we recognize that, uh, we understand it, and we share that deep disappointment. What we've then got to do is to look at uh, what happens next. And the first thing that happens next is there is a game uh, next week against Uruguay. We need to focus on that. We're very clear that we have that responsibility within the tournament. We also have a situation where we need for the fans as well to put our best step forward, to do our best in this game, uh, and to look at the tournament uh, and complete it, and complete it in the style uh, in that game. No doubt you will all be wanting to talk about or ask questions about um, what happens next. Uh, and I think it's very clear from our point of view. This is not a time uh, for any knee-jerk reaction. It is not a time uh, to, to rush into things. Uh, it is a time for calm, uh, rational, uh, considered reflection uh, about what can we learn, uh, how can we move forward, what do we need to do to improve, uh, all of those things. And we will only do that uh, in a calm, considered, uh, and rational uh, manner. I think it's very important as well for our objectives too, uh, that continuing to be the host of what has been a fantastic World Cup uh, and to be a host uh, for a global event is very important and we will continue to deal with that. Um, and recognizing, as I say, that we will obviously look, learn and consider what to do next. Uh, I hope that everybody will continue uh, to keep behind the team for the game against Uruguay. I know that Stuart and the team will be giving it uh, everything to deal with that, uh, and that's what we'll do. Uh, and we've been most grateful um, for the support uh, that we've had from everybody. Uh, and I know, as Stuart has said, uh, that sense of deep disappointment is because, no question, um, you know, we have not reflected that uh, support uh, in terms of uh, winning the games. Uh, but that's what we need to do with, deal with. Uh, we will move on. Uh, consider what's best uh, after the tournament uh, and look at that and move on from there. I'll just reiterate what I said last night, and uh, which was, you know, how gutted we are as a team uh, and as a coaching team to have uh, not got the the win against Australia that would got us through to the quarterfinal. And uh, um, you know, looking back over the uh, over the games, we had a great start against Fiji, uh, but. The loss to Wales obviously hurt us and we came up against a very strong Australia team yesterday and uh, they deserved their win. So credit to them, as I said last night, but uh, you know, we're still absolutely gutted, obviously. Stuart, you're a very honourable man. Um, how close uh, have you thought about walking away after what's happened? Um, I think all, all things uh, are being considered, but not, but not for now for me. Um, as Ian said, you know, it's a, it's a situation. I just sat in front of the management team in the, in the hotel and said, we've got a game to play on Saturday. And uh, it's not the time now to, to make a decision like that. I think, you know, you look, you look back and I think the Wales game, obviously, uh, being 22-12 up, um, 60 minutes in or 50-odd minutes in, uh, and then to um, not come away with a win really puts under pressure um, in this particular game. Although this game... Um, it was it was small margins um, uh, and big consequences in in, in in a lot of the game, and we got back to 2013 uh, uh, with momentum with us uh, at about 65 minutes, and uh, uh, we we gave uh, Australia an easy set um, line out, and, and obviously the sin binning resulted from that, and that was that was the end of the game for us. The decisions that we make. Uh, on selection, a collective, and they're ultimately mine and my responsibility. Um, I think, uh, um, you know, I thought Owen played really well. Um, I thought he played well in the first half uh, in this game. Uh, he, he, uh, uh, and George is a great player as well. And actually, you know, the uh, the ten twelve option as it ended up in the second half looked very good as well. Um, so, 
but no, it's not a, there's not a division in the coaching team and there's not a, um, anything that needs to be looked into in that regard. It's my decision on selection finally. And Ian, just finally for me then, before I hand the microphone over, um, plenty of people admire your principles when it comes to not picking overseas-based players, but you know, surely not getting out of the pool is more damaging than, than picking the odd player based in France. Well, look, uh, I think it's very clear. I think we all felt that was the right policy. We continue to feel that's the right policy. I think it's the right policy for rugby in, in this country. Uh, Stuart and I discussed it before. We both agree it's the right policy, and uh, we think that's still the case. Well, I've watched the game again this morning. As you said, it's still, uh, still less than 12 hours after the final whistle, isn't it, really? Um, you know, we played, we played some good rugby leading up to it. Um, it was always going to be a tough pool. You know, when you saw the draw, you thought, you know, there's going to be good team goals out here. Um, I thought it was two good teams playing yesterday at 2013. You know, I, I still feel that way. Um, I don't think we've become a bad team. I think there are a lot of good young players in the team. I think the foundations are strong. But clearly, we weren't ready to win and get out of this pool. And, uh, you know, I'm going to hide behind anything else other than saying, you know, credit to Wales and Australia and... I want to say apologies to everyone else because uh, you're absolutely gutted.